everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a great end to your week. Uh, as I always say, no matter where you're at, no matter what you're going through, if you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. Keep that in mind. Uh, never, ever give up. Never quit. This isn't about a sprint. This is a marathon. This is about for those who are willing to fight until the end uh, to get the results that they're looking for. It's about perseverance. Uh, no matter what fight you're in, no matter what goal you're seeking, no matter what your objective is, it's about perseverance. It's about being relentless. Uh, I challenge you to rise up and live at the height of your potential. And you'll be surprised at the things that you can accomplish despite the challenges and obstacles and all the other things that you're going to face in this world. Uh, on that note, I'm going to move on. I want to remind you that uh, we definitely are still pushing to uh, raise funds for Black Men Lead and other programs, including uh, extensive research that we're currently doing and will be doing in the future on a number of different things and publishing and also using to develop solutions. We need your support. It's real simple. Okay. Um, I've been asked about this. I've paid attention to it. I've looked at it. And those of you who know me know I'm not an emotional person. Uh, although I can get with you, if you come at me sideways, I still demand respect. But most things don't get me riled up because I've put enough time and energy in to understand that things happen. People do things. Nobody's perfect, and that includes me. And I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. Uh, it doesn't mean I give passes out. It doesn't mean that I don't call a spade a spade. I just know that the energy I put out, uh, I can expect to come back. So I'm very careful about how I put out energy. You know, it used to be a thing of me, you know, growing up in the hood about, you know, I don't want nobody to think I'm a punk. I don't want nobody to think I'm, I'm soft. I don't want, and you mature and you know, when you need to put it, put it, put in work, you can put in work. But the goal is not to have to put in work because you're moving smart, you're moving sharp, you're aware of everything, you're ahead of the game. By the time things pop off, you've been there, you've done what you've got to do and you've gone. Uh, you want to do that. But, you know, uh, so I don't get into a lot of stuff. You don't see me beefing with other dudes on platforms and stuff like that because I don't see the benefit in it. It doesn't prove any, anything. It's something my grandfather taught me a long time ago. While you out there doing all that spit boxing, you're going to get yourself hurt. So don't, you know, so I don't spit box. I don't get into shouting matches and exchanges. Uh, if it gets to a point I got to deal with something, I'm just going to handle it. You, you'll you feel me probably before you hear me. Uh, but uh, people are asking me to talk about what's going on with Sean King. Uh, I have not been quiet. I've been vocal about my... Uh, opinion about the things that Sean King does. Uh, I'm not a fan of Sean King. Uh, let me start out by saying that I'm not a fan of Sean King. I'm not advocating for Sean King. Uh, I am not uh, serving as, as a promotion for what Sean King does. Um, I have some major issues with some of the things he does. That The things that I can talk about that I have issues with is the manner in which he is an instrument for the Democratic the Democrats. Um, and how he pushes narratives that actually have no uh, intrinsic value as it pertains to blacks outside of misinformation and illusion. Uh, we've been voting Democrats at a rate of 90% of our registered and active voters uh, for over 50 years and got nothing in return for it, and yet we're constantly being told they are our saviors, they are our rescue. So, if anybody with any intelligence that can do research, that can understand history, will understand that that's not somebody, that's not a group that I would be promoting to my people, having seen how my people have suffered under them. This is not a, a, a plug for Republicans. They're no better. Uh, this is simply calling a spade a spade. But when it comes down to what's going on now, let me say uh, something else. My issue with Sean King has absolutely, I mean absolutely zero to do with whether he's black or he's white. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, that part of it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I have my beliefs, but it's just that. 
you know, I have a te- I, I grew up, I'm from both sides of my family from Louisiana. So we get the colorism thing all the time. We get uh, a lot of people who are black who can pass white. Let me tell you something. My biggest problem when it comes to who's white and who's black isn't the white man that's trying to pass for black. It's the black man that's trying to be white that I'm more worried and concerned about. Is he exploiting uh, black suffering? I think he's using it for his benefit. Do I, do I think that he got that house because of it? I don't know their finances. I don't know their finances. But what I do know is this. I don't like how things are being done. I don't like him. I've never supported him. Uh, and at this point, I don't see a reason why I would. Now, I'm not against sitting down and talking to somebody and seeing where they're really at and seeing what they're really talking about doing. Uh, there's obviously some evolution and uh, evolutions in the way that I move and the way I uh, operate. If I'm going to take my situation to the next level, uh, and I don't mind collaborating with people who are actually about the thing, I don't see that with him. That's my issue. I see him uh, championing um, and parroting the same old. Dems are our saviors BS that Roland Martin was doing um, and for that reason I can't get behind him but at the same time those kids the parent the, uh, the, their grandparents uh, they're innocent and when you start putting people's addresses out there like that for you, it's just a, for, for you it's, it's a mindset of okay I'm exposing them what are you exposing that they bought a house Unless you have real true proof that they bought house with money that should have been used for something else, uh, that's 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 crazy. But even that, you're putting somebody in jeopardy that had nothing to do with that, trying to get at the person you believe did. Now back to the whole white thing. I want I want to be very clear here. I could care less one way or another whether he's white or black. Because I've had more black people un- undercut me than white. Uh, not that I'm looking to partner with anybody white. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is enemies come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. And so do allies. Um, and I know this from personal experience. Uh, so that's not it. But just because a person's birth certificate says that their father was white doesn't mean their father was white. This is just a part of me from Louisiana that's checked out this dude for about four or five years. Um, You know, where he said that his mom messed around with a black dude and got pregnant on his, uh, her husband. And, you know, it's possible. But the thing is, if he never takes a DNA test to prove that he has African-American blood in him, it is. That's something that you could put to bed if, if it's an issue with. See, it's not an issue with me. I'm not going around looking for whether he's black or not. I'm not doing any research on that. Now, what I have researched is how he's moving within the political arena because that's where a lot of his platform is built on and pushing. That's where a lot of his force comes from. I'm, I'm looking at that and I'm making up uh, my mind based on that, but I'm not basing it on whether he's white or black. Now, if you are white, uh, as Dr. Boyce Watkins and his wife were talking uh, this morning, if you are white, why not come out and just say it? If you're, if you're not white, you've created an environment where your cre- credibility is at question. And I get it. There are certain things uh, you can call me on and I'm going to tell you whatever. Believe what you want to believe. Just simply, that's me. I could care less. And maybe he's there. But if he's there, don't address it. When I tell you I could care less, I'm done. I'm not finna go around talking about for the next year how people think about me or people said this about me. I could care less. If it's something I feel that needs to be addressed, like I said I'm going to do something or I said that I would do something and it seems like I'm not in line, I feel like I owe people an explanation for that. But certain things where you're just trying to get under me or trying to uh, unseat me or whatever it is you're trying to do, I could care less. And no, I'm not going to respond to it. If you don't like it, you can keep moving. I'm not going to play that game. I put what I put into what I do. I back it. I stand by it. And that's it. Uh, 
but this whole thing with uh, Sean King is he could put a lot of that to bed. He could put it to bed real simple by getting a DA test and posting the posting the results that shows uh, the percentage of African American genes that he has. Real simple. Uh, it could be done. It hasn't been done, so that leaves it open. But I do want to say, trust me, I have dealt with a bunch of brothers whose name on the birth, on the birth certificate, and it ain't their child. So that's not proof. Uh, that's more like mom covering up. Yeah, daddy's got to go on there if I don't want him to know I was out creeping. And even daddy looked at, I've, I've known dudes that's looking at this kid and knowing because there's obviously some situations going on here that this is not my kid. And still say, okay, put my name on the birth certificate and live as if it is for the sake of whatever. So, again, I'm not saying he is or he isn't. I'm just saying, just, you know, some of the things that people are hanging their hat on, uh, you know, to, to prove something to me that really isn't that big of a deal. What kind of work is he doing should be the question. What kind of work is he doing? How has he fared in his work in the black community? What can you go look at and say, okay, he's doing this. He's doing it. Now, let me let me tell you something. As a person who has spent 30 years doing research, and I mean doing research, conducting studies, peer reviewing studies, uh, vetting studies, and, 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 and writing uh, academic papers and articles, writing books and all this, I can tell you that that's time consuming, that it takes time and energy. It is something that's of value. And I have no problem for a person being paid for putting in that kind of work. That's the problem. When you look at our, uh, our past elders and ancestors, they've put in all this work. They've gone hard in the paint. They got all the praise and died poor. They talked and taught about and gave us everything, but they gave us so much of themselves that they weren't taking care of themselves. That's why I refuse to do it. That's why I refuse to go any further than the resources I have in doing what I do because I'm gonna make sure I don't leave this world broke and I don't leave my family broke and my people will do that to you. They'll take everything that you got and dare you to ask for help and call you out on it as if something's wrong with you because you are putting in work that's valuable. The research I've done on collective cognitive bias theory, the research I've done that allowed me to write books like um, Born in Captivity, Captivity, Psychopathology as a Legacy of Slavery, uh, The Undoing of the African American Mind, The Miseducation of Black Youth in America, um, and so much more uh, work that, 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 that is being reviewed by other uh, scholars and academics and, 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 and praised and all this stuff. But I put in that work. Nobody, I, I didn't do it as an employee of any university. I didn't do I had to sit up and fund and finance it. And then I turn around and I give gobs of it, gobs and gobs of it away for free. Most of it that you pay for, you get it for a little of nothing in a book for like 30 something bucks tops. So my thing is, Anybody that's bringing something of value, I think they should be paid. So I'm not worried about what kind of house somebody buys. I'm worried about whether they brought something to the community of value that supports them having that kind of money from the community. Now, he says his wife is an executive, that his wife's credit bought it, that it was an FHA loan. Uh, and I can tell you for most of Jersey and New York, a uh, $840,000 house ain't the same as it is in Texas or Florida or what, maybe uh, Oklahoma in Louisiana. Uh, California, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, some of those places, uh, some places in the D.C. area, you don't get a whole lot for your buck. So I didn't see the house. I heard it's a decent house. Uh, it's definitely not on the matching scale in Houston for close to a million. You can get your 4,000 4, square feet, four, maybe even close to 5,000 square feet. That's not going to happen where they're at. I'm not sitting up, like I said, caping for somebody that, you know, I'm not really fond of. Uh, but my, 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 my disapproval of this 
guy has nothing to do with whether he's white or not. It's the way he plays my people. And this is my opinion. This is the way he play, it's the way he plays my people. It's the way he pushes narratives that someone who uh, appears to be extremely intelligent should know better. Same thing with Roland Martin. Dude, you know what you're saying is not real. It's not true. This is not what's going on with my people. This is not what's happening. You can't sit up and tell me that 90% of my people voted for these same people. I mean, consistently, the most loyal uh, group for any political party, regardless, and nothing for it. And your, your, your suggestion and your solution is to give it one more shot. Let's vote for them again. Let's give it all we got. Let's come out. And you're telling me you're not getting anything on the backside of that for that to happen? You're not getting access. See, it may not be coming in money, but it's coming in access to people he can pick up the phone and call. It's coming with connections. It's coming with doors being opened. And that's my thing. I said this before and I said again. It, me eating isn't good enough if my brothers aren't eating. Me knowing how to move through a system and make moves isn't what I, I want to be my legacy. I want to take care of my family. I want, I want to eat well. I want my family to eat well. And I want my great, great, great grandchildren to eat well off of the work I did. That's my goal is when I leave this place that I have set my family up for generations. But I'm not going to do it on the back of my people by misusing my people and by hurting my people in the places that don't benefit them. So I have to take the slow road. I can't take the fast road because nobody is literally getting behind and sponsoring people who are doing real work, real things. You got to get out and build it. You got to get out and build it. You got to build it from the ground up. You got to find people. Speaking of which, I, I uh, on, on a real quick side note, I am looking for sponsors uh, for uh, the Black Voice uh, and where we're going with that. That's out of the way. Now, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back and talk about that more in the coming weeks, but I, it, it just crossed my mind, something that we've been uh, brainstorming on and trying to figure out what we're going to do, but we definitely need sponsors to take this to the next level. But anyway, my thing is not whether he's white or black, not whether he's getting paid, not whether he can afford an, a house for X amount of dollars. It's what value is he bringing to the community for those things? Um... I'll let everybody else worry about what race he is. Doesn't matter to me one bit, because like I said, I've seen white people do great work, and I've seen black people sell us down the river for 30 pieces of silver. Uh, so it, 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 it's, it's like that. I, and I, I said this, I've said this before, you know you've heard me say this, that the greatest enemy of black progress is a black person with a white agenda. And so a lot of people who are speaking and saying they're speaking on our behalf are actually people who have those white agendas. And they are pretending to represent us, but they're representing themselves. Um, again, I don't approve of what's happening with his family being put in harm's way. Um, because, see, once you put his address out there, you may just be wanting to expose him. You want everybody to see this is what's going on with Sean. Uh, but there may be somebody out there that's willing to take it another level. Now you gave him an address. So they show up at the house, and now people who had nothing to do with it end up hurt or at the very least traumatized and terrorized. Uh, a man's home is supposed to be sacred. Uh, when I go out, I go out and I do what I got to do. And I understand when I'm outside of that house, I'm going to meet some, some, some tension, some, some frustrations. I'm going to be at war many times because it's just that life. But I, I want my house to be a place of refuge. And I work real hard for it to be a place of refuge. And I will defend it to the very end of my life and with my last breath. So, uh, the, and that's the other thing I have to say about this, and I'll be pretty much done. I'd be damned 
if my wife busts her behind and puts her credit down and comes up with the money to get an FHA loan outside of me, which we 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 not doing that. I'm gonna, I'm 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 gonna have to put uh, I'm gonna have to be that person that's that's doing it. Uh, wifey can come along, but that's just me. But but I'd be damn if wifey does that, and then some people do something like what has happened, and I start getting mail, and I'm gonna pack my family up and leave after my wife has done all that. And I know, but you're putting your kids. No, somebody else put my kids at jeopardy. Now I'm prepared for anything that comes to that door. Because the people who wanted to see him break break are getting to see him break. Now, my whole thing is, if I don't want to support you, I'm not going to support you. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I think you're doing some shade, I'm going to call you out. And I've done that on more than one occasion with Sean King. I have major issues on certain things. Uh, I have uh, gave accolades when accolades are due. Uh, he's a very well researched and he, uh, some of the writing and sharing he's done has shed light on some things that people didn't know. Um, how he used that to his benefit is another story, but he's done that. So there are certain things you look at. There are certain people, you know, okay, I can take this from them, but that's the only thing I can take. You learn people, you learn situations, but in no way do I condone putting a person's personal business on the street when there are other people involved you know because that's how people get hurt you put it in a situation where you lose control the moment i put somebody's address out there i can no longer control what happens to them because i put it out there but i'm just as responsible because i put it out there and you know i know i don't want nobody showing up at my house because they disagree with me you know what what you disagree with me we deal with it on on the same platform that you saw me did it. and that's as a business person that's as uh um for a lack of a term I, I i hate the word activist but as a person that's active in my community if you want to come confront me on something that has that i've done or should have done and didn't do or should be doing whatever it is do that but my home is off limits and I will deal with anyone who violates that accordingly but to answer the question um, despite the fact that I have no love whatsoever for the dude I think it's, it's bad what's happened I hope that him and his family get that worked out I hope that he finds himself because that's what it seems like to me he's really trying to find his group I think he has a whole lot of aspirations uh, but he's not really sure where he's going or how he's going to get there. Uh, and I think Dr. Boyce Watkins probably said it better than I did uh, when I was listening to him. He, you know, talked about it, and you probably can go check that out. I forget the uh, podcast he and his wife does, but uh, that's one I, I, I listened to for the first time today, and I actually liked it. I like to see black love. And so... Um, I like to see black love, so um, that was, you know, good to hear them talk about it and have their different views on it and, and shed light on it. But basically, uh, Sean uh, has got to find a way to follow through, and he's got to make. To me, for my issue with him is his alliances. As long as he's aligned with the Dems, I'm, we're not going to be on the same page. Uh, as long as he's giving misleading information surrounding uh, those political alliances, we're not going to be on the same page. Uh, with that being said, his family being put in the situation they're in right now, I'm not with that. Uh, um, that's just me. Everybody's going to, you know, some people are cutthroat and that's how they feel and the hell with it and all that. Uh, I'm a little different. I'm more, you know, hey. You know, I got beef with you. I got beef with you. Uh, you know, the babies ain't got nothing to do with that. But that's my take on it. Look, like I said, we need your support. Uh, show some love. Support the work we're doing. Definitely the Black Man Lead, Rite of Passage uh, Initiative. Uh, our research and development uh, department. 
um, got a lot on the table. We've been doing a lot I, for the past year and ever since my heart attack. So whatever that March, that's how I kind of got back in the groove with things. I started researching because right around March is when everything went crazy for, for from COVID. So I was recovering from my heart attacks in March of last year. Not this year, March of last year, I was recovering from my heart attacks and my surgery uh, in March. And all this stuff was going on with COVID. So I decided, hey, man, that's an area that I don't have any level of expertise in. And obviously, I'm going to need to know some things in order to be able to make some decisions and share with people. So I started doing research on virology, immunology, uh, viral pathology, and so much more. Uh, so I think that I can learn and you know this is before that we there was even talk about vaccines so then when they start talking about vaccines I started doing research on that and that I've been doing that for a year now I just started to post some of the findings uh, that I've gotten uh, and information and articles and some other things on the Odyssey Project site that you know I would encourage you guys to go check out um, but there's so much work to do uh, from a health perspective you also can check out uh, my, my site at masterfitness21.xyz uh, um, and you can go to the Odyssey Project 21.top to read some of the stuff I put up there but I'm going to be sharing a lot as I learn it uh, it comes with challenges because it's a lot of the stuff people don't want to get out uh, because it's not aligning up with the narrative uh, but we need your support uh, because I'm, I, I'm on to something and I want to push it as far as I can possibly push it. I want my next project uh, to be the best I've ever put forth. And I'm working on something big and I can't wait to give it to you guys. Uh, but uh, we got programs we need support on. We got research program, research uh, work we need support on. Um, and you guys, we could use you. Uh, other than that, Start working on, uh, I, w I actually got a push uh, to take some things that I'm doing to the next level. Um, and I'm going to share that with you once I get it going. And, I, you know, I, I'm not one that somebody gives me something, I come throw it on you before I vetted it. But um, I'm definitely uh, checking out some things and I'm going to get back with you um, within the coming weeks about how that's going. And on that note, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. As I always say, I live my life on full so that I die on E. I'm challenging you to do the same thing. Talk to you later. Out. Peace. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.